The first time we met was at a, the comedy store on Sunset in Los Angeles. I had gone with a group of my friends. It was only $10 to get in. It was um, like black comedy. And he was the only white guy that went up and he followed Cedric the Entertainer that night and everybody stood up and gave him a standing ovation. And we had not stood up all night. So then the next week, I was telling my girlfriend, oh, we gotta go to this club. It's only $10 to get in. And it, everybody was really funny. And then I saw him again that night, but this time he was the host of the no, show. No, oh. I was the warm up. Oh, but, okay, he was the warm up. But he was telling people like, turn off your phones, you know, or no, the pagers. Minimums. He told like a joke or two, but he just wasn't that funny. And it's it was over. Well, I didn't know what a warm up was. I just knew you were funny that jokes. night. Oh, okay. I was in the audience that night. So they said, Gary, can you come do the warm up? Which basically means what she said. Two drink minimum, keep table talk, keep your energy up. Turn your pager off. Right, and maybe throw in a joke. But I guess in her story is, when I walked on the stage, she told everybody in her group, this the guy I was telling you about. He was so funny last week. And they all looked yeah. at her like, really? And then we were walking out to our cars. He was standing along the side. Looking and for I, chicks. He, he, I didn't, at the time, I didn't know he was looking for chicks. Because oh, had, okay. I, had I known, I would have kept walking. But, so I stopped. I said, hey, I saw you last week. You were so funny. But this week, you sucked. I said, can I get the number? I didn't give you my number that night. Yes, you did. I did not. I know I didn't. I don't usually get my number out on the first day. Talk you want to know how? I, want, you want to know how I know I got her number? She had on these pants that had all these patches on, very Thelma from Good Times like pants that are and, now back in style. Right, a half top, white, because she had her breasts really out and she had a flat stomach. They weren't out; they were covered. It was, it was a good outfit to, for her body, accentuated all the right parts. So, I, right. you want to come back? I can leave some tickets. And then we that was it. talked about a year on the phone. A yeah. year. When he finally got my number, he did call like that night. That didn't wait three days. Nah, he didn't wait the three days. I waited till I got home. He made himself look so desperate. I would have called her sooner, but I didn't have a cell phone back then. So I waited till I got home and called her. And she goes, what are you doing? Are you already calling me? I said, I know I'm supposed to wait three days, but you gonna be a lot of dues in three days. So I just put my, you know, I'm here. I did it like a joke, ha ha ha, and then we just kept talking. Yeah. At first I was like, oh, he don't have nothing going on. You know, you want to appear like you got something going on, like, and I was thinking, he, don't, he has nothing going on. Then when I started talking to him, I was like, he's just different. Like, he don't care about the rules. And it's kind of cute, kind of charming that he was like, screw the rules. I want to talk to her, so I'm a caller. So I think it was, I think kind of sold me. It was different than the guys that I, I was dating that clearly would have waited three days. Well, from what she told me, the guy she did before had five jobs. I'm in the studio. I'm about to do this movie. I'm about to drop this album. I'm hanging out with this ball player. They had so much stuff going on. If she talked to me, I'd be like this. I'm a stand up. I'm going to tell jokes here tonight. And tomorrow I'll be telling jokes here. And then next night I might be telling jokes here. That's it? That's it. You don't do nothing else? I don't want to do nothing else. I don't want to tell jokes. So, he was different.